My Woodstock story is that I really wanted to go because originally, since it was going to be in Woodstock, and that's where Bob Dylan lived, and Dylan was my hero, I thought for sure he would be there. And that's why I wanted to go. And, of course, he never showed up. But <laughs> I was going to college in Wisconsin, and when we first heard about it, maybe in the spring of 69, I made arrangements to go home for a couple weeks to cover that period of time. And uh, my brother, who was two years older, and another friend of ours got in his mother's station wagon and went down. We got there a day early, so we got there on Thursday, and were able to drive right up. I don't know how we found it. I have no idea, no recollection, but um, parked right on the grounds next to where the helicopters were landing that were bringing all the acts in to perform from whatever hotels they were staying at somewhere far away. And I slept in the car the first two nights, so I didn't sleep in the rain. My brother and Jamie slept in the sleeping bags because we had great seats 50 yards from the stage straight out in the middle. It was amazing. and I mean, it was the first time I had ever seen Richie Havens, and he you know, started the whole thing off Friday night, and, it was, and he was incredible. And Joan Baez, who you know was about as close to Dylan as I was going to get, I guess that weekend. Um, and Saturday night, about three in the morning or four in the morning, Janis Joplin, and then uh, the Jefferson Airplane as the sun was rising. I mean, it was just, it was amazing. I I don't know that it really changed me much. I mean. Six months later, or whenever it was, I was ended up living in California and went to Altamont, and uh, with people who had also been at Woodstock, and it was so obvious from the minute we got there that it was bad vibes and not going to be good. And we turned around and left as the first group, Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young, took the stage. So, and then when we heard about it afterwards, we were very happy that we had left because that was not good. But the feeling at Woodstock was just, it was wonderful.